This is Twit. Elon Musk has announced the company, Tesla, will open up its patent and other intellectual property to competitors. Not only will they not initiate patent lawsuits uh, against competitors, but they, in fact, want them to use their inventions. Uh-huh. You know what, what a this concept. Yeah, you know what this means? What? It means that the whole thing is a scam. It's a sham. That means that there's no reason anybody in their right mind would give up patents worth this kind uh -uh. of money. Right mind. Is Elon Musk in his right mind? I believe Elon Musk is more than in what? his right mind. What if? The only reason he did this is because he knows this whole thing's a dead end. You mean the electric car? He gets $35,000 per well, car I'm, just from the government so, because of... So what? what he's giving away, what specifically he's giving away is the patents... Uh, and the technology used in the charging system, the mm -hmm. supercharger, which involves some of the technology in the car. What he wants to do is get competitors to adopt his uh, standard for charging, oh. which is very different from what they're oh. using now. And there'll be more superchargers for Tesla. And then there'll owners. be more superchargers for Tesla. Well, that's that's the best. Everybody wins. Way. It's just like the Comcast story. There's no way everybody wins, but okay. All right, next. <laughs> I I've, I want to pat the guy on the back, and you know what? If he gets a business benefit from it, if all, you pat him on the back, he'll sue you. All the more power. You don't like so Elon Musk? Just, I love the guy. I think he's the just, Tony Stark of our era. I gotta ask. <laughs> he is Tony Stark. Yeah. All right, fangirls, quiet down. Dwight, is it just the superchargers or the batteries too? Because he's kind of killing it on the battery side, and we're hearing rumors that that's going to be Tesla's big business. In which case, he's building giant he battery need, factories. Yeah, but then who's going to build all the superchargers for those in electric Texas. batteries? And by the way, he's moving a lot of the stuff to Texas, and we have Dwight Silverman over here defending him, who happens to be in Texas? What do you think? <laughs> You've just unraveled everything. Con you conflict of open. interest. So, so it's in order, for, in order for the superchargers to work, he's got to open up some of the patents and the batteries uh, and the car itself, because the two interact. So it's a win-win. So, I mean, if he, I mean, you, you, John may be right that the intellectual property involved isn't worth that much, but I doubt it. I bet it is worth quite a bit. He wins because he's got superchargers, and others win because they can build. Look, it's good for Tesla to have more electric cars on the road, right? Why? Right. Why? Because it it proves the concept. It proves the. Uh, it doesn't it, it create promotes any value the notion. for the company. Sure, it does. Because he it's a boutique. It's a competitors. It's a boutique electric car maker. Best. So he makes something that's expensive and high end. If more people drive electric cars, it's going to be good for his business. It's not oh, going to impinge no. in any way Julie, on the business of his, uh, at all because he's a specialty oh, company. Waiter. Oh, I'm such a. Sorry. Well, no, don't worry about. It. We'll get we'll get a little paper towel. It's just. Oh, by the way, they have not yet decided where the factory is going to be. It's going to be a five billion dollar factory, so and he's currently looking at Arizona, Texas, Nevada, yeah. and New Mexico. Yeah, I, I already tell you, Texas. Will Texas win? Oh yeah. Uh, Texas it will be, is where he's putting his spaceport uh, down near Brownsville. Well, that's you know that's where you put spaceports. There's a reason NASA's proud? there. There's a reason a, a, a space. Uh, what is it? SpaceX is there. There's a reason. SpaceX. He's SpaceX. Yeah, because because well, it's just the right place. It's a good spot. It's a good spot. It's lots of the Gulf of Mexico. Yeah, that is way right the, there. The things the, can fall in the water. Exactly. What's the worst? What's the worst that could happen? Hit Cuba. I don't know. That's I don't what think I said. Cuba's What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> it's a, it's it's a Mexican some fishing boat. That's about it. <laughs> okay. Uh, mm. Three reasons why Tesla should choose Texas, according to Green Tech Media. Um, by the way, they don't... Do they allow direct... Uh, no, they allow no, direct that, this is a Texas good point. The guy, the guy in the chat room says, Musk won't locate the battery plant in the state that banned... No, that would be a quid, quid pro quo. He says, look, I'll put the battery plant in here. you got to let me sell cars because there's a lot of people in Austin, for example, that would be perfect for a Tesla. You know, they would buy them in a minute. The Texas so state he'll legislature... So he'll do a deal. You watch. The Texas uh, state legislature uh, said, no, you cannot sell direct. Right. you got to go through a dealer. Yeah, but that's right. going to end. He's or Tesla a, in, could make in, lower end cars under another brand and create a dealership system of their own. In that I case, I think he wants to. He should build it in they New have Jersey. Kind of New Jersey a, they doesn't have kind allow of a, direct sales either. He probably. They, I'm telling you, he'll make Texas change their mind now, for what's the that, jobs. Dwight, what you saying, girl? They, they have a. Uh, they have kind of a quasi dealership system here with Tesla. You can go into a, a showroom in say in Houston in the Galleria, which is the big fancy high end mall here. You can go in there and you can look at a car. You can ask to drive one, but you're not they're not allowed to refer to it as a test drive. It's kind of 
say, I'd like to drive one. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. This is and then so they, stupid. The salesperson says, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, and they arrange for you to meet is, somewhere and you drive the is car. Is there any rationale for this aside from the fact that the car dealerships give the legislature lots of money? No. There's no, no, there's no consumer protection element. It's not just Texas. Ohio limits the number of Tesla dealerships to three. New Jersey's fighting them. They had a sue in Massachusetts. They won there. They're suing in Minnesota. Um, this this just crazy. shows that car dealers uh, give a lot of money to the local to state legislatures. Back in the 1940s, you used to be able to buy a car on a, in a Sears catalog. What's the difference? Seems like you well, should you should be able to buy a car directly. I don't really understand any rationale for. Proof. I think it's one thing for Tesla to be able to sell uh, directly. You know, if Ford or GM or Chrysler started saying we're going to sell our cars directly and you don't have to worry about our dealers. The, uh, that would be a whole other they thing. They kind of do with dealers. Costco. But what's wrong? I don't you understand. You go to Costco, you just... Isn't that good for... Cons what do we need these dealers for? Well, right, right. But I'm saying that's the argument. But there has to be the some dealers, breeding ground for douchebags. Oh, and they, we need it to breed Well, and marking up the bags. prices, too. And, and, and deceptive so sales money. practices. And then you get the practice What about the undercoating manufacturers of the world? Bad suits is important. And then he has to go to his manager. They have to play that game. That's fun. I'll be right back with my manager. I got to talk to my manager about this deal. And he goes back there, waits a minute. Yeah, comes Has back. Has a cigarette. Yeah. <laughs>